Hello there. I'm Robert. And we are late to the party on to episode three of Moon Knight. The suit has been summoned. We got a little bit of Mr. Knight. Yeah, I'm really liking where the story is going. Um, I'm enjoying the way that Oscar Isaac is doing or doing these different type of characters, doing these different identities. I'm hoping maybe we'll see the third one, Jake Lockley. But uh, as of right now, you know, we are going to see a little bit more of Mark Spector to see what he has been going through. So that's going to be interesting to see a different uh, shift in that whole situation <laughs> i want to see more of arthur i want to see what ethan hawk can bring to the table uh just because the villains man i want some interesting villains i want some scary villains uh and a david koresh type you know uh egyptian god delusional messiah is definitely frightening w which is even more frightening because you know you it, it does rem resemble you know those cult-like features in somebody but they actually do have those powers those abilities so that heightens them a little bit more sure yeah he uh is actually legitimate when it comes to his capabilities but guys if you want to check out our full episode watch alongs to moon knight they are available on our patreon and if you have not subscribed click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we're dropping these we have so many other things happening on the channel so come join the party just did a reaction to the new trailer for stranger things season four you can check that out up there but let's get into episode three of moon knight now living 20 minutes from our old place <laughs> i don't steal they've already been stolen they belong in a museum so do you and return them to their rightful owners there you go archaeology one big mess of obsessive bookworms. That's your Indiana Jones. Mm -hmm. Pretty legit. Yeah. Nice Ooh. little cold open. I like it when they do this, you know. Sand. I hate sand. <laughs> found it. We found on it. Well, you didn't find it first. Here we go. Damn, that ain't nothing to him. We dancing, we fighting. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> There's Oscar Isaac. Yeah. It's a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Slap him. Bitch, slap him. Woo. Okay. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> you know what? Showboating. You don't wait for them to finish. You could have just hit him in the face. Ooh. Mark. Oh, He's fucking with him. Oh no! Oh shit! Now it's happening to Mark. Yeah. Oh god dang it! Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, Steven's trying to take you to the airport. Let me talk to you. Did he talk it out? A little bit wonky on the camera shots there. It was a nice little transition from the stuntman to Oscar Isaac. Classic run through the market scene. <laughs> I was gonna say, grab the rug. As always, a mirror. Yeah, uh, mirror. That's enough. Oh, Damn. shit, dude. Oof. That's not good. Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, shit, dude. Is this the other one? I swear it wasn't me. Then who was it? Jake! Jake or Conchu? Or Conchu. He's just a kid. He'll talk. Mm. Damn, dude. Where's Harold? Later, buddy. Praise on it. Oh, shit. Oh, he's gonna shit. cut it. Oh, fuck. <sighs> wow. I thought he'd talk. I didn't do any of this. Oh, shit. Me neither. I suggest you stop listening to that stupid pigeon. <laughs> Can't you? He was like, it was me. To signal for an audience with the gods is to risk their wrath, anger them enough. And they'll imprison me in stone. Like carbonite. There you go. Clips? Oh, damn, yeah. yeah. Sending the gods a signal they can't ignore. Wow. Are the rivers gonna run red? Maybe. Send some locusts. I mean, at this point in the Marvel Universe, it's just normal. I know, right? They're like, oh, and There's then so many different eclipse. things happened, yeah. So you're gonna go have a chat. Oh, my days, we're inside. 
We're inside the Great Pyramid of Giza. Oh. <laughs> He's all fanboying out. Yes. I love that. I love those little moments. Someone who appreciates the history. Right. You must be his avatar. Yahtzee. So are all these their avatars? Yes, I believe so. It's a strange sensation of conscience. So they're going to talk through him? Yeah. Spare me your self-righteous threats! <laughs> Look at him, too. It's like he has no control. Right. All of them, they're like, we've gotten used to it. Sure. We know how to talk. We did not wish to meddle in the affairs of man. Just like Eternals. Yep. Let us summon the accused. Oh, damn, we're bringing him in. Oh, damn. So that was busy. You know exactly why we are here. <laughs> Inside voices. Inside voices. Sinners would be longer than the Nile. Liars. Is he in denial? <laughs> Who literally does not know his own name. <clears throat> Split damn, personality. Yeah. It's not stable. Nope. The insane. <laughs> Oh shit. We wow. will not tolerate violence. Take action now before it's too late. It's that calm and cool demeanor that is very deceiving. Hmm. Are you unwell? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I am. Oh, wow. I am unwell. This is about how dangerous he is if you would just listen. Well, tell him what you've seen. This matter is concluded. You guys need a new lawyer. You need to bring Matt Murdock in there. I know, right? Well, that didn't go well. There is another way. Need to file an appeal. One man, a Magi named Senfu. A Magi? It's Oded Fair. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> that'd be so cool. Not bad for a Magi. Wait, what oh, we got? Ever in the, world. what the hell are you doing here? You should what? be here. Ooh, I it's like that necklace. Party boat. <laughs> yeah. Booze cruise. <laughs> Booze cruise. Putting the hair up means business. I was gonna say, is she preparing to jump ship? What is that? Sneaky, sneaky. Yep. After Madripoor, I'm sure you two will have a lot to talk Madripoor? about. Mmm. All right. Put that Sharon in Sharon Carter walks out. I know, right? Now, if I may ask, why like that they're such like... interesting? Yeah, and these little... And these little... Pyramid pyramids. exhibits. But it kind of reminds me of like the pyramid uh, at the Louvre. It's coded. Okay. Um, Gotta let him let uh -huh. let him help. Let him help. You want to talk to me? Talk to me. Yeah, let's Why go. Now? What now? Patience is a virtue. Not right now, it isn't. We'll take that first piece and fold it over the middle piece. This one. Yes, that one. I don't think you should be touching it. I know, right? Hey, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. I mean, that's some pricey shit. You took that gun quick, though. It appears we have a concerned third party here. Who? Oh no. Ah, ah shit. Whatever shit, they've shit. told you, I'm sure I can offer you something much more tangible. Do it. Summon the suit. Summon the suit. What are you Love waiting that for? Purple hue. Never oh, no. in pit. No! Destroyed his sarcophagus. Where is he? <laughs> there he is. Ah, love it. There you go. Right back at you. I mean, sometimes capes come in handy. If they can Edna do that. mode. <laughs> Damn. Ah. Super fast. There you go. What are you doing? He's holding his cape. Whew. Oh, he's taking it. Ah! Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Back and forth. I love how you know that they their personalities switch, and then visually we get to see it here. Right. When they're wearing the suit. Damn. Damn. It was a all right, the whole all right, time. practical right there. There we go. Damn, dude. I gotta get me one of those. Accessorize. I mean, just, you know. 
self protection. Uh oh. Uh oh. You're done, man. Yeah, he's done messing yeah, around. Yeah, you don't do that. <laughs> Each one. Woo! Right in the back. Oh. Tick tock, Mark Specter. Right on the clock, yeah, too. I know. Oh, no, no, it's not true. Of Wearing the white. No, don't let him get in your head. It's like Moon Knight like casual. Movie. Yeah, right? <laughs> what are you talking about? You look down, right? <laughs> <laughs> so did the digging not get you anywhere? We need Steven. Yeah, he need him. All right, go ahead. You're in. Cheers, thanks a lot. All right. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah, just a so subtle good. facial expression right. change. Yeah. How could you even see? I know. It's like, why did you leave the I light? To... <laughs> it's like, oh, hello. Et voila. A star. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> so, unless we know exactly what the sky looked like on that date. I remember that night. There you go. Can't you get in? I know, out. right? Is he gonna shift the stars? When the gods imprison me, tell Mark to free me. Oh, damn. Interesting. Sacrificing himself to give you the visuals. Imagine seeing that shit. I know, right? You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. <laughs> throwing up. You're throwing off my equilibrium here, okay? Ooh, that would be trippy. Hell of a light show, though. I know. Well, with him gone, does that mean he won't have the suit? Yeah. Oh, damn. Bye bye, suit. Turning you into a little statue. Success! Later, Kanchu. Bye bye. You still hear the glass. I know. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I know, you can hear it, huh? The glass. Your torment forced me. I owe my victory to you. <laughs> Punish the guilty before they commit the crime. A little bit more action in this one. A little bit of treasure hunting. It felt a little more Indiana Jones-ish. Just yeah. with the archaeology aspects. And, you know, the talk of giving artifacts back to those that it belonged to originally. Uh, but yeah, getting a taste too of the gods and the gods among us when they're, you know, taking these avatars, but not wanting to get involved in human affairs. So we've seen that before. It's very familiar when it comes to those in power. Um, yeah. but yeah, I love the infighting between the avatars, between the gods. Uh, and it just shows too, you know, they sit on their tower looking down and, uh, the arrogance is blinding them because, Right under their nose, Arthur is uh, doing some dastardly deeds, but, you know, they're not paying attention to it. I like that, you know, we have, like, these Egyptian gods uh, that are part of the MCU because we have, like, some other ones, you know, like Thor and Loki and uh, they, you know, they come from Norse mythology and stuff like that. So I like that there's different portions of them sure. out there um, that are otherworldly uh, that are on earth because <laughs> earth is so special <laughs> i know right it always ends up being here i love the personality changes i love the switching between the suit going from moon knight over to mr knight right uh, and steven steven actually coming in clutch when it when it's needed when it comes to the brains when it comes to the smarts and the puzzles uh and yeah Kanchu obviously doing the ultimate giving the ultimate sacrifice um and right. putting himself imprisoned uh so that way they can get at least one last shot at possibly taking down arthur but it's going to be uh interesting to see how the last three episodes play out because we're now at the halfway point and the powers are gone so how's he going to get back in there and be able to uh free him because it seems like it's going to be Mark slash uh, Stevens only. Well, they even hinted chance. like uh, it's not me doing it. Who else sure. is doing it? Like there's yeah. that third. Uh, and we know that he does have a third uh, identity right. in, in the comics. So it's like, OK, do they like team up together to kind of uh, join forces to beat Arthur? I really like the fact that in the moments now it's like 
when we were with Steven, it was really like, oh, we need to get Mark. We need to get Mark in the right. forefront. We need to get Mark in the forefront. Whereas in this one, it was more so like, yeah, you had Mark there, right. but then Steven was able to kind of help uh, further along the situation because of his knowledge of, you know, the the stars and the gods and the pyramids. So I like that dynamic. They're like, okay, no, we actually do need Steven here to help us with this, trying to find the, the tomb. Everyone plays a part. But guys, what did you think of this episode of Moon Knight? Let us know down in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. Kick into the party. Fuel the party. Keep the party going on our Patreon. Check out our live streams that we are doing on Twitch. Been going through the Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga game for the PS5. Check out our past streams and we're still going live currently so make sure you check that out link is in the description of this video thank you guys so much and as always now it's time to say goodbye this party is over bye, bye.